let's do that, man. Let's set up, get the, get the actual. So after I go to the landing page, I opt in and then I go to the next page, get, get, let, let's get that next page. What's that next page, which is the thank you page, the confirmation page, your webinar page, whatever you want to call it. Which page is that? Can you still see my screen or no? Yep. Yep. Okay. So it, I think it's, um, so it's when they page. opt in, they go to that page. Oh, that's so that's the register and then it comes here right here bro this is something you should really really focus on man again i don't know your focus i don't know exactly everything you got going on but well this right i got here, adhd bro i got no focus so that's okay well I'm then here. shit this right here let's put some focus on this this is a freaking product this yeah. is a digital product people will buy this shit and 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 i i'm a true believer in niching down like picking an audience right um as I mentioned a few minutes ago, you can, it's something you can either market to real estate agents or market to everyone. Um, and so marketing it to everyone, that could be something, but then again, narrowing it in, niching it down could, could be something powerful as well. So you can go either way with it. I mean, shit. Um, but I know a lot of real estate agents because I've spoken to a lot of real estate agents. I know when it comes to real estate agents, most don't have landing pages or any type of email automation. Most don't even always have the budget for something like a Kartra. So teaching, right. if you were to market it to real estate agents and teaching them how they can just leverage messenger, that could be powerful too. You know, cause, okay. cause, cause they don't want to have to spend for anything. They don't have to pay for a Kartra every month. Um, right. So something like this, bro, could be powerful. So let's do this real quick. Then why don't we, why don't we, um, why don't we set up a custom conversion? We'll set up some custom audiences and and then and then I'll show you how to run the conversion ad whenever you want to run it. But it's really just the conversion and then and then some custom audiences. So, so where'd I go first? Let's um let's click on events manager. So we'll go to events manager right at the top. Oh, okay. Events gotcha. manager. Yeah, we'll click there and then that will bring us over here where you'll see your pixel. So that should be the pixel that you're using is that J-Man at the top. Um, and then to get rid of that red triangle, all you're gonna do is simply, once it loads, you'll you'll follow that red triangle, which I think it's under diagnostics. Yeah, right there, diagnostics to the right. You'll see number one in red. So click on that diagnostics. And, oh, then, um, and then to the right, you'll see three dots and just simply click on those three dots to the right and ignore. So you'll click on this and then we'll click on ignore. Okay. So now real quick, let's, let's check to see if you have, did you, did you um, integrate your domain with this? Yeah, I did whatever you told us to do. Okay. Click on, um, click on overview real quick, real quick overview. And then, and then scroll, scroll. Um, let's Actually, let's go to settings. Let's check. Let's just double check. Click settings real quick, and then let's scroll all the way to the very bottom. So if you click on settings, right there to the right, um, down. Actually, right here by history, diagnostics, in the same same row. Oh, okay, there we yeah. go. Sorry. Here we go. No, it's all good. And then scroll to the very very bottom. We're looking for traffic um, permissions. Let's just double check this real quick. Traffic permissions. Okay, so these are the domains that you're giving Facebook um, access to. So if all those domains are the ones that, that are for this actual campaign, then, then go ahead and, and leave them. If you don't. Yeah. The jmanbot.com is all the bot related products. Okay. So what about the other ones? Uh, jmanseminars.com is my, my speaking website, okay. not, not within Kartra. So Jman speaks, same thing that forwards the Jman seminars. And then the good morning real estate is the show okay. Uh, okay. page within Kartra. Okay. Perfect. So we're good there. We're good there. Okay, so now hover over the blue triangle to the left, and we're gonna click. We're gonna click on custom conversions. Custom conversions. Okay, perfect. So over here, these are all your conversions. So you have you have them set up, bro. You have you. You know how to do this shit, don't you? Well, no, no, I, I did this from your your okay, training. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah, I just went through it. I. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I'm really good at like following direction, and I'm cool. I, like I'll look at it, and then I'll just. I knock it out immediately awesome. after. Okay. Um, so then let's see if any of these are, are that 
So Thank it you, was it would be... right here, the free MBM class registration. Okay, cool. So click on it. Just double check that link. You'll see it right below. That's the thank you link, right? That's the webinar page link. Yep. Cool. Okay. So now here's what you want to do. Open up another tab and, and, and open up that page. Or if you already have it open, refresh it. Okay, perfect. So let's open up this. And do you have, yeah, you do have the pixel helper. So click on that pixel helper to the very, very right in your, um, your, your plugins there. Yeah. Click on that one. Okay, perfect. So there goes your, there goes your custom conversion, the, the, um, the black circle. Yeah. That one right there. So now go back to the ads manager and just refresh that page. So let's refresh this page right here. And that yellow dot, no recent activity, it should turn green. Cause we just refreshed the page. We just gave it some activity. So now, oh, gotcha. now, okay. it's, now it's green. And that's what you'll want to do with the other pages. Eventually you don't have to do it now, but later on the yellow dots, just turn them all to green and just copy the link, open it up in a new, in a new tab, check the pixel helper, make sure you see it there in the drop down, and then come over here and refresh this page. Okay. Okay. Um, that just activates the the conversion. That's all. So now here's what we got to do since it's now, now that it's active, now that it's active, now we got to go to go ahead and click on the dots at the top left and then go back to events manager. And then we're going to click on um, right here towards the middle of the page. You'll see the new in purple. So aggregated event measurement, click on that one, aggregated event measurement. And then the blue one configure web events. And then let's click on, okay. So you have, so the, the domain verified, which one, which one is it? The J man bot. Yeah. Okay, cool. So click on that one and let's just double check these um, events. So manage events. And then um, you can move them up and down if needed. Click on edit just based on priority because that's how Facebook wants to wants us to um, gotcha. list them now according to priority, which one's the most important. So these are your yeah. custom conversions, man. Yeah, and I had them um, based on that one email. It was like, so this is my most expensive product down to free. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, or is it good to get it, the highest priority, get them in free and then work their way down to paying the most amount yeah, of money? Yeah, that's, that's what you should be doing. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So yeah, move that one to the top. It's all about, it's all about getting people to register. Then we, then we get them to purchase later. Um, that's uh, this. There we go. Perfect. So hit the blue button at the bottom right submit and that that is that so it's always yeah check the box yes i understand um so number one is just always integrating that domain and then and then number two setting up the custom conversion first and then three hitting up this part web event configuration and, and lining up everything here and then that's it man and then and then now you can just go in and run a conversions ad. so hit the hit the dots in the top left I'll just show you what to what to expect or what to kind of look out for when you set it up. Um, so yeah, ads manager, and then we'll just click on the green one and then click on conversions. Right here? Yep. So conversions over here. And then the way I lit, like I'll hit the drop down, name your campaign optional. I'll hit that drop down right there and I'll actually name them here. And all I'm doing at the top is I'm I'm giving a, just a brief description of that ad. So whatever video it is, or whatever image it is, whatever whatever allows me to look at the dashboard and know exactly what ad that is. So as long as that title is going to let you know that's yep. the exact ad, that's the exact image, that's the video I used, whatever, it just makes it easier. And then in parentheses, I always put conversions. Again, so when I look at it. From a 30,000 square foot view, the dashboard, I, I know exactly what ad that is without having to click into it. So, and then the ad set, I normally, in this case, again, it it's going to come down to knowing your exact audience. So are you going to go after real estate agents or are we going to go after everyone else? No, that, real that, estate. What would you say? Real estate? Yeah. Okay. So then the ad set would just be, would just be real estate agents. But, but then again, that's going to be one ad set. I'm going to show you how to really, really take this to the next level. Just put in, yeah, just put in real estate agents. And then the ad, 
the title of the ad. I just normally put the same as the top. Um, or whether it's an image or an or a video, you can put that there. Video in parentheses or image in parentheses. Um, you can do that, or the or or which exact image it is. You know, um, the more specific, it just helps you in the in the future know what ads these are. So here's here's what I'm saying on the ad set, the real estate agent. So go ahead and click on continue. So um, as we go in now, as we go in now. You may have to you may have to go with special ad categories and go housing. You may not, but um, I would always go housing since, and especially if it's coming from from a real estate related Facebook business page. So if your page, it's not my page is just speaking. It's a video so not, video no real producer. Estate. Okay, so then you may not need special ad category then. And again, okay. it, it, if you if you do, you'll know Facebook will reject the ad. It'll reject it, and then you just yeah. come in and, and, and just, select yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. So then nothing else over here is needed. That's turned off. The campaign budget optimization is turned off. That's step one. That's the campaign. So hit next. So over here on the second step, which is the ad set level, real estate agents, this is where now you're going to click. So, so right there by default, that custom, that conversion event, that may not be the right one. So by default, Facebook nah. threw that one in there. So let's X that one out and, and find our custom conversion. It'll be right there. Free and be perfect. That's the custom conversion. So now what you'll want to do is when it comes to real estate, there's so many different, there's so many different keywords as far as targeting a real estate agent. And that's what you'll want to start doing. So when it comes down to running super, super effective ads, you'll want to separate everything, the ad set, the, the keyword. So watch, if you scroll down, Let's go down to the detail targeting. So the detail targeting, there's so many different ways you can hit this. Um, edit the detail targeting. Let's look at that detail targeting real quick. It says on, but let's just edit detail Where targeting. Scroll down just a little bit right there. Detail targeting. Edit that part above right there. Yeah, right there. So edit this. So right here, if you type in, type in real estate agent. Let's see if you could type in real estate agent or real estate broker or realtor. Type in, type in one of those keywords. And then, yeah, sometimes you have to type it in a couple of times and then you'll see the drop down. There we go. Okay, so now we have, what do we have there? We have, what we're looking for is we're looking for, we're looking for job title. So type in, type in, go in and go, go with the rest of it, estate. And let's see what else. Okay, perfect. So, so we're not looking for interest. In your case, it's not interest. We're actually looking for job title. So we can either go into browse if we don't see it here. And we can just browse and we can go, I think it's under, it might be under, it might be under, what well, shit, choose all of them. It's either demographics or, or interests, but we're looking for, click on demographics. So in here, we're looking for work. There's work. Perfect. Okay. So work and then job titles. Okay. So right there. So you're looking for, for job titles. So, so in, in real estate, there's, there's so many different ways you can hit this. You can you can target the word realtor. You could target the, the 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 keyword real estate agent. You could target everyone who works for Keller Williams, right? So now we have all these different different uh, targeting, and you'll want to separate all of them. Is what I'm saying. So you'll want to and and what you can do is watch. Type in one keyword. Let's just see if we can get one to pull up, like. Um, Type in, type in, yeah, choose realtor. Yeah, go, and, and so from this point on, what I'll do now is I'll click on suggestions. Let's, let's let Facebook find the rest. Okay, so there, you go. That's there they are there. Right there. Okay, so here's my point. Here's my point. What, what, what rookies do is they'll, they'll take all, them, select all words of them and select yeah. all of them. You'll want to separate oh, all yeah. of them. So this is how you do it. You're going to simply, let's say, let's say National Association of Realtors. That's the first keyword. So click out, click, get away from this drop down, click, click away. So let's say that's our, that's our one keyword. All we're going to do now we don't is want change, that. maybe change the app, maybe change the age, maybe change, well, location, you can leave US, maybe change the daily budget. I want to change this. That's yeah, change one. that. Okay. Change that. Perfect. That's better. Perfect. Okay. So, so. 
Now what you'll do is you'll simply watch, go up and just, and, and we're going to just test this. We're not going to run this, but I'm going to just walk you through a real detailed on how to run it. So okay. go up to the very, very top and let's just choose the budget. Go freaking five bucks, five bucks. It's five bucks. It's five bucks daily budget, five bucks. Because again, we're going to choose multiple. So you'll want to be at at least, at least 20 bucks a day, which is, a, which is going to allow us to, to target four different keywords. Now you don't need to stay at there all, all for, you know, the entire week or the entire month or whatever. It's only for the first three days. So for yeah. the first three days, we're going to target four different keywords. Each one's going to be at $5 each, which will give us 20 bucks per day. And after three complete days, we'll be able to review it and see which one is actually returning, you know, giving us a good ROI return on investment. So Yep. So, okay. so here's what you'll do. So let's say is there a best time to start, start that like with yes. the like ad, it was midnight or what's, what yes. is it with these kinds of things? V very good question. The like ad midnight, but on these, on every ad after that, it's always the next day at 6am. Gotcha. So okay. always the next day at 6am. So here's what we do now. Let's say, let's say the budget is fine. The, the date is fine. Everything is fine. We now just put in the interest. The, the one keyword we're targeting is, 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 is broker. And then, and then we go next. That's it. So scroll down to the very, very bottom. We won't change anything else. Um, you can always change age. That might be good too. changing the age, um, focused on maybe someone a little older, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe what freaking, I mean, shit, the average agent is in their forties, isn't it? Like, but you don't want to cut, cut but off. it's, yeah. I mean, I, I think I'd almost go like 20 to like 55. Okay. Okay. 60, just because like they, they gotta be social media savvy enough to understand the shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So that's good right there. So let's say that's all set up correctly, which, which it is. And then we'll just go scroll down to the very, very bottom. There's nothing else. Um, our conversion is there. Our pixel is there. So we'll just hit next. And then now what, we, what we're going to do, let's, and let's just put a random image for now. Um, now we'll just click on um, add setup, click on create add right to the drop down, a little lower, you see add setup and then create add. Go with use existing post and just grab any random post off, off your page. So just hit select post. Yeah, use existing post and then right below you see select post and then what you'll always want to do is you'll always want to upload that ad on your business page first, right? So that way you can use it as an existing post. So always upload it first. Don't get to this part and be like, holy shit, let me, up, let me upload it. It has to be uploaded first or else you won't see it here. So choose gotcha. any, anything random for now. And then we'll hit continue. And then that right there, the call to action button, that's where the link would go for your landing page. So grab yeah just grab the landing page for now we'll we're going to delete this anyways so just go to Karcher and grab grab the landing page and then add button and and put it in right there so not this that page, is your yeah page. not that page yeah. the actual yeah the actual opt-in page and what you'll want to do too yeah always always customize that link yeah for sure and then this, this super, super important, which, what, which is what we'll do right now after this, but that needs to be set up as a custom audience. This that, says? This link, this specific link. Yeah, for sure, this page. Because you're going to have people that click on the ad come here, but don't register. So we need, to, we need to make sure we capture that data. That's a custom audience that you'll, be, that you'll retarget all the time. You'll always want to retarget that, that audience. So... Um, yeah, so yeah, add, button, put in, add button, put it in right there. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now we'll update post and, um, well, let me make sure I copied it right. And on, on the actual, um, yeah, that the right one. Up. Okay. Open it up real quick. Yeah. Open it up in a, in a new tab. Go to an update post. Yeah, you either one. Yeah, update post, and then just open up that page real quick in a new tab. Awesome, awesome. Okay, cool, man. Looks good. Looks really good. Scroll down. Convert social media conversation to gold. 
So scroll scroll up real quick to the very very top. Okay. Um, what I would what I would probably change is I would probably this convert social media conversations to gold. I'd probably put that huge as the headline. Like gotcha. that shit needs to be huge. Like right when I land here, convert social media conversations to gold. Like, okay. like that's even more important than the logo at the top. Gotcha. Huge. Like make that shit huge on the whole freaking title of the damn page. Like that's huge. <laughs> like I land there and then right below it in, in, in a sub headline is your messenger bot marketing for real estate. Right gotcha. below it. That'd be the, the, the sub headline, the subtitle, I should say the subtitle or headline, whatever the subtitle. And then, and then, your logo, I would probably put that logo at, at the very, very bottom. It, it's not even, right. it's not, a, maybe, maybe, maybe somewhere in, in the copyrights, like in, in the footer, that logo can go somewhere, somewhere down there. And then, gotcha. and then what I would also take out, what you do need, in fact, I'll send it to you, I'll send it to you right now. What you do need at the very, very bottom, what you want to put for sure is your, the privacy policy is there. What you also want is the terms of use. Put a terms of use. I have a terms of use page I can send you if you don't have one. Um, yeah. Or you can just go to your broker, go to your go to your real estate page and just maybe grab. Actually, actually, yeah, you don't need to grab that one. I'll, I'll send you a very generic one and you can just edit it. But at the bottom, terms of use. And then also um, is a disclaimer, a Facebook ad disclaimer. So when you're running a page, when you're running a Facebook ad to, to a landing page, you want to always put a disclaimer at the bottom. Um, let me, let me grab, let me grab my disclaimer and I'll just, I'll just send it to you. Um, okay. let me see here. It's this one. Um, uh, okay. So this right here, Okay, so just um, you can just copy this out of the chat. See if you can if you can copy that out of the chat. That copy that entire thing, um, and you can edit it. You can you can for sure edit it. But just the main, the context of it is what's is what's necessary for the bottom for the footer, um, and so. Yeah, adding that, and that and that only goes on the, on any landing page that you're running a Facebook ad to. Okay, that should be in, in super small print at the very very bottom of that page. Um, and then also what I recommend for sure, go back to the actual landing page. Is what I recommend is to the very very bottom taking off the actual um, taking out or deleting your social media icons. Those okay. aren't those aren't needed. They can see those icons when they opt in and go to the next page. So when gotcha. you're on my webinar page, there's my icons at the bottom. But what I also recommend when they opt in, when they opt in and go to the actual, watch, let me share my screen real quick. This right here is my, is, is my webinar page. So when someone, when someone opts in, they end up, Okay, so here's here's my actual landing page, right? So they see the ad, they click, they come to this one page. So over here, this is my my simple opt-in page. And then down here is the disclaimer that I that I just sent you. But as they opt in, they register, they opt in, they're then taken to this web class in progress. Now, when a person comes here, they opt in, they're ready to watch this webinar, this is all they see. This is all they see. There's nothing else. It's just the video. It's just the headline, the video, and that's it. And so depending on how long your video is, like mine is an hour, for example. So yeah, in Kartra, mine's, out. mine's like 45 minutes. Okay, perfect. So here's what I recommend. At the 40 minute mark, you 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 simply set this up in the in the actual page, the delay. So you I, I can show you how to do that if you don't know how to do it, but it's a simple delay in in the in the settings of the Kartra page. You just set up a delay where, where not until the 40 minute mark, the rest of the page opens up. So I want their full oh, attention on this, I right? You. I want their full I attention you. on the video. I don't want you clicking on my Facebook. Don't follow me on LinkedIn. I'm not showing you shit. You're just seeing this. 
right? Until the 40 minute mark, then I'll show you everything else, right? So that's what you want to do on that, on that webinar page. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, and then again, um, I love that at the top, like webinar in progress, don't close window. Like, yeah. Right. Perfect. So, so that right there and then boom, video plays. And, and, and then also what you can do is you can tag. So if that video is, is, is uploaded to Kartra, then what you'll want to do on the back end, whether you're going to do this through messenger or whether you do it through, through Kartra, but on the back end, that person needs to receive emails again, either messengers, messenger bots, messages or, or emails. But in Kartra, I have it set up in emails where based on if they watched it or not. So if they watched, if, if they reach the, if, if we're talking a 45 minute presentation, if they reached the 40 minute mark and then and, and they, they heard the offer, they heard me, you know, give out the price and all that shit. And they got to the 40 minute mark, then they're tagged. And so the way my sequence looks, looks the way, yeah, let me, um, let me show you this, the sequence. Cause this is, this is super important. Again, you can, you can set this up in messenger or, or you can, you can, you know, have, have this, have this, this email sequence over here, but I just want to give you the, the, the layout and the strategy. It's all based on the tag. It's all based on if they watched it or not. So this is how my sequence looks depending on if they watched it or not. It's, it's either true or false. And so this is the start and rule. The start and rule is anyone who opts in. So anyone that hits that landing page and they opt in, that's my start and rule. But an hour later or 45 minutes later, whatever, the system's going to check. There's going to be a split. So the system's going to check if they have the tag or not. Did they watch it or did they not? That's what's the most important. So you can set this up again in Messenger or, or this is how it's set up here where it's all based on a tag. So an hour later, the system's going to check. Do they have that tag? Do they finish the web class or not? Do they reach the 40 minute mark or not? Based on whatever hap based, based on whatever, they're going to get a series of emails or a series of messages. And, and in these messages, like for example, if they did not watch it, they don't have the tag, they go to the false side. Over the next four days, I have a countdown clock in each email getting them back to watch the webinar. On the true side, if they did watch it, but they don't have the tag of purchased then they're gonna keep getting these emails over the next four days. And in each email, there's a countdown clock. So now I'm able to create urgency. So if I throw out a promotion, hey guys, for everybody who, who attended, we're gonna be giving off a 50% off or whatever, right? If there's some type of promotion, then that's the urgency. Hey, in four right. days, promotion goes away. So make sure you get back and purchase. So this email sequence or messenger bot is, 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 is super important. Is super important, and it's all based on a tag. Did they watch it or did they not? That's super important. Okay. Okay. So, let's go back to your to your screen. Okay. So, so then, this right here is is good. Make those little adjustments. Take off the social media icons. Um, put that footer at the bottom, the, the, the disclaimer, and then I would move around this headline um, for sure. It's over here. Yep. For sure. Yeah, I'd put it big, bold. Convert social media conversations to gold. Messenger, messenger bot marketing for real estate. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Like, that's awesome, man. That's a, that's a really cool one. Um, and then scroll down a little bit. Register now for free. Register now for free. What I would probably do is I would probably I would probably put maybe you have you have two two testimonies here testimonials or reviews or whatever I would probably put like freaking four more, make it like okay. like six, you know All like because right, these are just bullshit ones anyway. Yeah, it's, yeah, bullshit four more. It says, "Are you really reading this testimony? We're offering you a free program, so I'm going to write whatever I want here." Robot, <laughs> yeah. robots are the sheet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Whatever. If I could see like more, that'd be even better. Like show me a few more, you know, show me a few more. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and then, um, and then that's it, man. That, that, that'd be good. And then um, now let's do this real quick. Let's, let's copy that link at the very, very top. 
the 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 everything except for the www just yeah just the url just yeah perfect all of that all of that perfect when it comes to custom audiences and custom conversions you only need that okay so so okay so let before we get there let's get back to this real quick we're already done hit so let's hit publish we're, we're going to obviously cancel it out right away so we're, it's not going to go live but let me um let me just show you this next step real quick, and then we'll get to the custom audience. So, so now it published. Now it's going to go in review, um, and now it's scheduled to go live tomorrow. So we have plenty of time to do the next step. Here's what we do next. X out. Once it publishes and you see it there, all, all published, then you X out right here, this window in the top left. So the, the X right there in the middle. Yeah, X out of that. Now it's going to bring us back to the dashboard. We're going to unselect. We're going to click the blue. One selected, one selected. Do it. Yeah, do it on all three of them. So just hit one selected, X out, one selected, and close out all those ones. Yeah, close that out, close that out, and then close out the first one too, the campaigns, one selected. Yeah, that one, and then the other one to the left. Okay, cool. So now let's click on campaigns, click on that tab. Now what you'll want to do also, yeah, that one. What you'll want to get in the habit of is these ads that are already completed, but they're still blue, shade them to gray, like always shade them to gray. That way, when you look at it, it's more freaking visually appealing. Like I'm not appealing, but it's more you, blue is on, gray is off. Yeah. Like, we, I could just look at it real quick and know that, right? And you'll want to do the same thing for the ad set, that tab, shade all those. There's a ton of them. You could do it later, but shade all those to gray as well on the, on the middle tab. Click on the middle tab real quick. You got all these other ones that are off. They're completed, but they're still blue. Like all these. Actually, once you un click on the one selected X out real quick, one selected, one selected. And then, yeah, X out of that one, and then X out of the one to the left, and then click on the middle tab. Yeah, and then click, see, you have all these blue ones. So they're all completed, they're all off, but you just wanna get in the habit, leave that one on. Yeah, you wanna get in the habit of just shutting all those other ones off. And then the same on the on the third tab to the, um, yeah, you could just hit publish. Okay, cool. And then same thing for the, the tab to the right, the third tab, your ads, your ad, ads for one ad set. Yeah, that one. So you can X, yeah, X out of that and then just click on the tab to the right. Come on. Okay, cool. So over here, yeah, all these blue, shade them all to gray. So now what we're talking is, is, is multiple ad sets, all these different keywords that we have the ability to target. And that's, again, how you want to set it up. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, perfect. So you're good. So now, now uncheck that one selected to the very, very right. And let's go back to the campaigns tab. Click on that campaigns tab. Okay, cool. So now that first one that's blue, check that box. It's always on the campaign level. Check the box to the left of the blue dot. So if you check that box, that's the ad we're working on. Now click on the middle tab, ad sets, and you're gonna hit the green button from there. So we're working out of that campaign, but we're creating a new ad set. So we hit the green one from here. Okay. Okay, so click on that green one. And all you're going to do is simply set up the ad set and the ad again. But the difference is we're going to choose a different keyword. Gotcha. So everything else is the, is the same? Everything else is the same. Same, 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 same use existing post, same link, same budget, same targeting, same everything, just different keyword. And all you got to do is simply type in type in any keyword and then hit suggestions and use all the ones that are already pre-populated. But just again, just use one at a time. And a good start is four. Set up four. Um, let it run at twenty bucks a day for the first three days, and then on the fourth day, review them, and you'll see which one is bringing in leads and which one isn't. And the ones that aren't, shut them off. So now, now this would be a different keyword, right? The ad set title. Um, now we're going to just come in here and, and schedule broker, brokerages like target Keller Williams, anyone who has a job title at Keller Williams or freaking Coldwell or whatever. 
and then you'll like see that red ad set. Yeah, we're right here in the ad set okay. name. So right there, that would be the name of the keyword that we're targeting. That's a good okay. way to kind of distinguish them. It's just the first one was real estate agents. This one is going to be freaking whatever, real estate brokers, whatever, like whatever that one keyword is. So always, yeah, always look for your custom conversion and then just scroll down same daily budget, same next day at 6 a.m. Change that to five bucks. Um, and then, and then um, the date, the time, that keyword, and then, um, and then all you're going to do also is, yeah, see, if you scroll down, just go to that, that change the age like you did before. So everything stays the same except for the keyword. And here's, should, should you change this to like English speaking like we did with the yeah, like Yeah, for or? sure, for sure, for sure. I would, I would do that for sure. Now, if you're targeting the U.S., you 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 have the i mean shit the majority are english speaking but you still can narrow it down for sure um you'll want to for sure go english all when you're targeting other countries for sure um now here's here's another thing that's super super effective and, and super powerful as well um go ahead and actually scroll down the detail targeting yes that detail targeting hit that edit and just type in a different different keyword and what's good too is um, once you once you type in 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 that that power word is what I call it that that keyword, then you hit suggestion. So just like we did before, so we typed in yeah we went with job titles, and then we typed in that one word, and then we hit suggestions. Now what I would do is I would and you could do this later like because this part could be time consuming but it's super worth it like go with that one word and then hit suggestions. What I would do is I would freaking get out a notepad and pen or freaking on your computer and, and, and write down all those damn words. So I would, I would, I would focus on that. I would, or, or just do a screenshot. Yep. Perfect. And, 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 and those could be, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight different ad sets. So I could be running five bucks a day times eight, run that for freaking three days and see which one pops. And then just shut off the other ones, you know. So, so here, here's, here's, the, here's the next tip. The next tip on this. So, so here's what you do. Once this part is done, which, which it is, we're not gonna publish it just yet. We're gonna go straight, but don't do it now because there's one more tip I gotta give you on this step, on this, on this section, step two. But once, once I tell it to you, then, then we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do that, and then we, we hit the red triangle one. So we don't publish. We hit the red triangle up at the top left. We click on that one. That's the ad. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. But that's that's the ad. So we'll we'll click on that. Then we'll finish that, and then we X out. We don't publish just yet, and I'll I'll tell you why. But here's a tip on this one. I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Here's a tip on this one. If you're running images, so if you're running images, then you don't have to post it on the business page first. If you're running a video. Post on the business page first, for sure, because that's the one video that you're running. And, and it's on the business page, and then we're going to use existing post. But if you're running images, don't post it on the business page first, because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up turning on dynamic creative, and you're going to want to use multiple images. So don't just use one image. For the video, it's one video. But for the images, you can hit dynamic creative all you do is toggle that thing on. And then when we get to the next step, which is the red triangle, right? Yeah, go ahead and hit it on. That's fine. And then when we get to the next step, in fact, let's do it now. Hit, hit the red triangle at the top. That's the third step. So we don't publish it yet. We go straight to the red triangle. Now we're on the third and final step. Over here, because we went dynamic creative, over here, we're now going to be able to put in multiple images. So select images. And now you can choose what I recommend is I, I would choose, I would choose three different images. So just any, any random images right there, just choose three of them. So now as Facebook runs this ad, 
they're going to run these multiple images to find which one. And I think you need to hit control. Actually, oh yeah, perfect. Are you hitting? Are you holding down control or no? Shift. 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 Okay, cool. So hit continue, and then what you'll want to do is also change up either the text or the headline. So if you scroll down, that's the image. So now we have the primary text. So now what I would do, since I have three different images, I would now have three different variations of that text. So whatever the one text is, that's fine. Paste that in right there and let's do it again and change it up. Do it again, change it up. And you don't have to change it up, you know, drastically, just maybe move a few words, maybe different, you know, opening sentence, whatever, just change it up a little bit. Um, and then you could do the same thing for the headline. This is ult this is this is split testing on steroids. This is how you really narrow it in and find out which freaking image, which headline, which text is the one that's popping, which audience is the one that's popping. Right. So this is when you really narrow down. Um, and this is what I recommend for image ads. Is, is run dynamic creative, run multiple images. Three is all you really need. Um, and, then, and then change up the text and maybe, and even maybe the headline. Three different variations of the text, three different variations of the headline. And that's it. So here when it says primary text, that's for the ad itself, the headlines yep. for the ad itself, and then yep. the description is for You, you don't need description. Or... You don't need okay. description, just text and headline. And then as you can see right there below the primary text, you also see in blue add, right? What does it say? Add. Yeah. Add another option. Add another. So that's what you would do. You would just add, you would, you would just to do the second variation of it. Okay. And that okay. goes above or below the, the image as it. That will go, that will go above. That's the text. That's above the actual the text. text. Okay. Yeah. That's the text. So changing up that text having multiple variations of it three really is all you really need and then and then three different headlines um would really really show you your roi and and show you which one is the one to leave on and which ones are the ones to turn off okay so so that that right there once you add you added the three images you add the text and then you add the headline and then, then the URL is the URL for the landing, landing page? page. Yep. Okay. Landing page. Now, this is the second ad set. So what we're going to do is we're not going to publish just yet. We're going to X out. Just put anything in the text. Put anything in the text and put anything in the headline just to fill the void. Yeah, just put whatever. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now we have the text. Now we have the headline. We have the three images. Um, URL, I've got to fill that in. URL, you can you can put that URL in for sure. Perfect. Now it's all set up. Now we X out. So let's X out right there. Yep, right the here. top right there. X out. So now we have the hit close. No, 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 not not publish. Close. So now, <laughs> if you if you hit the one selected, one selected, the blue X out of those. One selected, one selected. And then let's go back to the campaign tab to the left campaign. And then now we have that first one checked. Actually, let's check yeah, the first one again. On, on, yeah, on. yeah, there we go. Yeah, X out of that one. So check that box, the blue circle. Check the box to the left. No, not that one. Oh, the I'm box. sorry. Yeah, Shit. not the blue circle. So yeah, leave that one on. And then now click on the middle tab. So the middle tab will show you one that is scheduled, the middle tab, ad sets. So this will show you one that's scheduled and then one that's in draft. The in draft is the second one that we did not publish yet. Click on the third tab to the right. That will also show us um, in review. Yep, it won't be scheduled just yet, but, but it'll be in review. And then the second one, which is in draft. So here's the, here's the strategy when it comes to this. Then we go and set up two more to be a total of four, right? Four ad sets, four different keywords. When that first one approves, okay, if we're setting it up right now for the next day at 6 a.m., you'll receive an email, an approval by tonight, if not in the next hour or so, but you'll get it for sure by tonight. It'll say your ad is scheduled or running. Once you get that ad, then you come over here and you'll see in review, it'll say scheduled. That will say scheduled. 
once you see that or once you receive the email, then you come over here, you hit that blue button at the top, review and publish, and you publish the rest. Because we're waiting on that one approval. Because I don't want right. I don't want to set up four and they all get rejected at one time. I'd rather set up one, let that approve, and then go and re, then go and publish the other three. That way I know for a fact they're all going to get an approval. Looking at getting getting four rejected ads doesn't look good in Facebook. It's a machine. They just they just read off of whatever the hell they're seeing. So four right. ads at one time getting rejected is bad. You know what I mean? So we don't want to show that. We'll let one approve and then and then publish the other three. And then they're all scheduled to go live the next day at 6 a.m. Okay. So that's multiple ad sets and, and even what we call multiple creatives, which is the dynamic creative. That's how you really, really run these ads and, and split test and see what's working and what's not. And you do it fast. You do it within three days, you know? So what you'll want to do for sure is make sure that your custom audiences are set up because that, that at the end of the day, it's, it's really, it's, it's really about, I mean, it's, it's about obviously having an ROI for sure. We're spending money. We better get this money back for sure. That's, that's the most important for sure. But on the back end, you also have to just keep in mind that what we're ultimately getting out of all this is also data, data. Those who are watching my videos, data, 25% data. Those who are landing on my pages, data. Like I need that data. I need to know who the hell landed on the opt-in page, but didn't opt in who landed on the webinar page and watched it, but, but haven't purchased that shit is so important because as you start to run more ads, you got to be able to segment these audiences or else your ROI for sure won't be there. So let's click on the dots. And this will be the, the, the last thing we really need the custom conversion set up. The last thing we need are the audiences. So let's make sure that these audiences are, are set up correctly. Um, we're looking for audiences on any video that you run from this point on as an ad. Make sure you always have those audiences, but then also make sure you also have the audience of the landing page and the audience of the thank you page, the webinar page. So do you have those two audiences in here? Uh, oh, yeah. Those are all, those are all look alike at the top. And then you have, so I have, um, good morning, real estate, the full bot webpage. People who purchase bot products took free MBM class right here, custom audience. Okay, cool. So that let's go into that real quick. Click on click on check the box and, and let's edit. Let's just make sure that um there's also an exclude in here. So if you scroll down, let's see. Actually, there there's no exclude. Okay, perfect. So I'm glad we're here. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is go to your webinar page. So when I I go to that page, I opt in, I then go to your webinar. Go to that page, the webinar page. Would that be the other tab that you have open to the right or no? No, this is it. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. Actually, that's, the, okay, cool, cool. So grab this link, everything except for the www. Okay, so when it comes to audiences, man, it's freaking specific. Like I used that word last time on you guys, the freaking word of the day is freaking specific. Like this is specific. Like these are people who landed on the on the landing page but never landed on the on the webinar page. So right here, you'll go ahead and click on um, all website visitors. So events right down below, all website visitors, hit that drop down and go to specific. This should match the it? top. So right there, all website visitors, little up okay. right there. Go to specific. Oops, sorry. And here's what you want to do also. Let's um let's change the 180. Yeah, hit the drop down in the blue. So click that blue. Always want to hit the drop down in the blue. Yeah. Okay. So not not yet. Not yet. Don't update yet. What I recommend at the very top, the retention, the 180, I would change that to 30. Because if I hit your page a hundred and freaking fifty-seven days ago and I'm in yeah. this audience because you went 180, I'm not going to remember who the hell you are. Yeah. Especially cold. if it was only one time. I only hit it once, right? So let's keep them yep. top of mind. 30 is good. So right here, scroll down. Let's rename this audience real quick. Let's let's name it. Let's get it a little bit more specific. So it, it took free. Actually, see, no, this is not. I, I could be wrong, but what we're looking for is 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 only the website visitors. So they did not take a free class yet. 
Is this your free class link? Scroll up. So the yeah. Oh, okay, so this. Okay, so then this right here, Just dude. After they opted in. I'm thinking this is the opt-in page. We need so let's X out of okay. exclude. X out of exclude. Just hit the um the source at the top, right oh. below to the right to the right that X. Let's get rid of that. Okay, my bad, dude. I thought this was your freaking. I thought this was your 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 opt-in page. So, okay, so hit done. Where's the opt-in page? Um. So that's took free. Okay, so that's that's the thank you page. Do we have? I don't have it because I think I I just I did that page because you said to go to like the thing whatever was after they opted in. So I okay. don't think I did the opt in. Okay, cool. So 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 here so here so I'm glad we're here. That audience right there, those are people who opted in and watched the webinar. Whether they watched the whole thing or not, that's besides the point. Those are people who opted in, right? Yeah. On every ad from this point on, that audience needs to be excluded. So as you get to the ad set level, the second step in the ad setup, the second step, which is where we choose our budget, our date to go live 6 a.m., on that step, that's where you click on custom audiences and you exclude that exclude audience. Them. Okay. Yeah, they don't need to be seeing that ad. Now, the ad that you're, or the audience that you're going to always want to include is those who landed on the web page but haven't opted in. So that's a very, very important audience. If we don't have it here, we need to set it up. So do you see it at the bottom or is that the very, very bottom? Is that so no. uncheck the box? Always, always uncheck the box because you'll end up working on that one. So yeah, so let's just create the new one then. So custom audience, custom, yeah, custom audience, and then um we'll go website and then just grab the um the opt-in page. We'll need both actually, the opt-in page and the thank you page. So let's go to the, yeah, here's the opt-in. So we'll grab that. Okay, perfect. And then and next. next, yep. And then just um, all website visitors, hit that drop down to specific and then leaving it at 30 is, is, is good. Um, paste it in right there at the top. At, right there, yeah, right there. And then here, what we're gonna do well, is we're going to, I copied the whole thing, so I gotta. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, scroll up real quick. Okay, P okay, we're good. So now click on exclude, exclude people, and you're gonna simply follow the top. We're going people who 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 visit specific, and then we're going thirty. So match the top on the exclude. So yep, right there, events down. Actually, no, you already excluded. So you don't need, I think, did you do it twice? Yeah, hit hit X out of one of them. That one, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so right here, yeah, just match the top. So all website visitors, hit that drop down. go to specific, make sure the 30 is 30. All you're doing is matching the top. And then that link is the thank you page. Oh, it's the thank you. The okay. thank you page, yep. They landed on the landing page, but they never landed on the thank you page. Very specific. So they never landed here. Okay, perfect. So then now we're gonna we're gonna give it a name and 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 that's exactly what it is. Web page visitors, opt-in page visitors only. Um, you'll want to put that in, in parentheses, like maybe you know, put the word only. So yep, MBM opt-in opt-in visitors or page visitors or whatever. Yeah, and then in parentheses only. So you know that they've only landed there. That That is an audience you'll always want to retarget. So create audience. So you'll always want to retarget those who watched previous videos and you'll always want to retarget those who landed in this audience. So super, super important. Let me ask you this. I created a custom audience as I think I had asked you about that before, but so that when you see here, um, these are the lookalikes, but I have custom audiences, the people that have subscribed to the bot already, meaning they already came into the bot. So they've, they've interacted with my bot, not necessarily that they were looking for a bot, but they have some experience with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to retarget those people. It would be the same thing, like to get them to the opt-in. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. 
Okay. See, like these, this is the custom audience, the many chat subs. They came into many chat. I got 1600 out of there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think I exported a CSV with their emails or something, whatever okay, it was. Good. good. And then, and then again, what you'll always want to do is, is let's go ahead and go check the box and let's go into the edit. Actually update your customer list. Okay. So then. Yeah, with the list, with the list custom audience, you cannot exclude anyone, which that which I don't know why, but click on custom, click on the blue button in the top left, create audience, and then just go to custom audience and then click on customer list. So if, if we went customer list, I don't know why, but I don't think you can exclude. Go ahead and hit next. Yeah, so as you upload, do you have like a random list that you can upload real quick? Or, or no, just hit next, hit next. Oh. Yeah, you can exit that one. Just click on next and then um, it'll ask you for, for you could just put no, click on, click no and then next. And then right here, um, do you have a random file or, or no? Probably. Because I don't know why, um, like after you do this, I don't know why you can't, we can't exclude anyone. Um, Here, I'll do this. This is an event CSV that we did. I don't know what event, but whatever. Okay, cool. So hit next and then, um, and then, and then, yeah, email. That's fine. Hit up, hit import, hit the blue one. So you can go off of email. That's fine. And mm -hmm. then, um, and so now over here, go ahead and import and create the blue one. Okay. So update anyway. So now, now, now it's, now it's done. Click on done. See, and then that's it. So it's like, what I'd like to be able to do is exclude my freaking, you know, those who already watched or, or even those who already purchased. Right. Because with that, you don't know which ones purchased or which ones have watched the webinar you know um, so this this is something for the future but th this is a i do have a, a pretty good list of people that would hire me as a speaker mm -hmm. you know they're they're like uh, meeting planners and education directors and shit mm -hmm. and so i'd like to i guess it would it be more of an impressions ad or something where i'm just i don't know i'm not going to get them to buy something necessarily mm -hmm. um i could make an offer of virtual or hybrid like training their people i don't know i just mm -hmm. gotta figure out what the mm -hmm. offer is that they mm -hmm. would but it's more of the impressions where i keep stalking them until they hire me yeah you could do brand awareness you could do reach you could do video views if it's okay. a video um, yeah. yeah yeah that's it i'll do like video views is a good yeah do that they have and a then... good video on on like uh I'm the zoom, you know, the cure for zoom fatigue. Mm -hmm. That's good. That'd be really good, man. Um, and then also just always keep in mind, once you, once you do that video, you upload it to your business page, you, you run, you set up the ad, you, you prep everything and then automatically come right away, come back over here and set up that custom audience. Okay. That's yeah, super, super it first then come back do the custom. Gotcha. Yeah. Set up that custom audience. Cause you have plenty of time. Cause the ad won't go live until 6am tomorrow. Right. So you have plenty of time to come over here and, and set up that custom audience under that video, that 25%. So that's, that's what you want to do for sure. For sure. Okay, cool. So just delete that file. If one at the top, if you want, just get rid of that one and hit delete. Cool, man. So custom conversions, custom audiences and, and multiple ad sets is, is kind of what, what we got out of this call. Awesome. Yes, man. So anything else? No, I mean, that's all for now. I guess I got to do some work. Yeah, bro. If, if I are you, man, I'm telling you, out of all the shit you got going on, focus on that, on that, on that messenger bot package. That's a, that's a product right there, bro. People will buy it. That's a, for sure. People will buy that product for sure. And, and, and if you sprinkle some coaching along with it, that's for sure, for sure. A thousand dollar 
program. Like I'd, I'd spend a thousand dollars. I'd spend a thousand dollars on that, especially if it came with coaching and coaching would be a group coaching where you're doing maybe two zooms a week, two zooms a week, where it's a Q and a, where you jump on for an hour and you answer everyone's questions. You do screen share, you walk people through different modules in the course. Let's say it's five modules, right? So now I'm doing a, a group coaching twice a week, one hour where I'm screen sharing, doing a Q and a and walking people through the modules. I'd spend a thousand dollars for that for sure. Okay. I'll make yeah. you an affiliate. Hell yeah, bro. Sign me up. Sounds okay. good, man. So shit, email me, message me. Let me know if you need anything else, man. And we'll jump on anytime you need me. All right. I appreciate you. All right, bro. Talk Thank to you, you soon. Thanks, man. Bye. Yes, sir.